I'm going to share um, my screen and we can go over a couple of things. Um, hold on, I'm trying to go live. I'm going to share. Okay, here we go. Let me put this in a group. Give me one second. And we're going to get it on and popping. Um, okay, perfect. Did that did that link come through for y'all? No. Yeah, on Telegram. No. No, it just came through. Okay. I was about to say. Okay. Um. Let me share my screen. Okay. All right. Has to close out YouTube because sometimes it gives an echo or feedback. Um. Okay. Can y'all see my screen? No, no, not yet. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah, we yes. can see it. Yep. Okay, yes. yeah, let's have fun. All right, so uh, let's go to you said, LaShonda was you with GU, right? Yeah. All right, so let's go to GU. We need to go over a couple things um, anyway, but let's go to GU first. Okay, so let's talk about where we were last week, and then we'll talk about where we are now, and then you could tell me whatever trend line you were talking about, all right? So last week, we were here, all right? So the only reason, well, I don't want this to confuse y'all, so I'm, a, I'm going to delete that for a second. All right, so I extended this fib down just because where did price pull back on this? 23 continuation. All right, 23.6, so continuation. So I extended it down here. But regardless, this is what we were looking at last week. So let's just look at this point right here. So last week we had divergence. Literally on this call, we were right around here. And I was telling you guys that this needed to finish. That was first, before we did anything, this needed to finish because um, we had this zone right here. So remember, what was the other thing that I talked about when I asked where we were? Where did we get back into? Consolidation. Consolidation. Yeah. So remember the week before last, we had finally pushed out of where we had been, let me go to Pepperstone so y'all can see it from a higher view. So on a higher time frame, you see we were we had these main levels that we were just throughout, right? So this was I'm gonna do it. This is actually supposed to be green that there, but let's not even focus on this one right now. Let's just talk about these three. We were literally all throughout this right here since December. OK, so we've been talking about and anybody who's on YouTube, you can just go back in the past and watch these past past videos where we talked about trading. We traded all throughout this consolidation all through here, but particularly the week before last, we had finally broken out to the upside, closed above the upside. And then we were pushed back into consolidation last Sunday. So remember, I was telling everybody the first move before anything was that here we needed to wait for this divergence to continue or divergence to finish before we did anything. And then we talked about the fact that we were back in this consolidation, making sure we didn't push down to this purple zone. So we ended up pushing back to the purple zone here. We rejected the zone and retested a trend line that was, I should have chose y'all on the other chart, but I don't know if y'all could follow through. Let me make it a different color. If you are new to trading, please do not let this, none of this confuse you right here. I know it looks like a lot. Just, 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 just look past everything that you see. 
because I know you don't understand it right now, but just follow along with what I'm saying. So I'm just going to make this bold for a second, just so I can explain the trend line that we just pushed to before we pushed up. Does everybody see that? Yes. yes. Okay. And again, you can go back in past videos and watch like these trend line points and where we came from and all that stuff. Da, 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 da. Like, it's nothing new. It's literally, we've talked about this on pad Zoom calls, blah, blah, blah. Um, I actually didn't think price was going to push down this far because of this divergence that was forming. But um, so we pushed past this literally down to here in this zone. We did not close under the zone right here. Did not close under. We literally tested this trend line and pushed right back up. All right. So this would have been a minor structure trade. Um, for people who are brand new to trading, you probably would not have caught this, just being honest, because there was no clear, like you do have confirmations here. So I feel like if you are not experienced, you probably would not have been able to take advantage of this trade. The confirmations that were there were the FIB levels, the zone, and then um, the trend line, bring recess. So that was three. However, again, there was not a clear break and retest of a entry here. So that might have been confusing for some people. So, but this is the other thing that I want to say do not trade everything. So, if it is not clear, do not take the trade. This was clear for some people. But if it's not yet clear to you of this, that's perfectly fine. Wait on it. No different than what we talked about last week, where we had this through here that some experienced traders took, but the more, um, like novice traders would have had their clear entry here. And that's perfectly fine. Please do not compare you guys um, journey to anybody's because again, this does take time to really, really hone in and master. Okay. Um, and it takes like, just as La Shonda was saying at the beginning of the call alert, where she just sat and like waited. That is what I want y'all to do if it's not clear, because that is how you ultimately learn. Like mark up your charts where you see price going. But if you are not clear, do not execute anything. Everybody with me? I have a question. I, I had a break and retest on that, though, because I actually ended up taking that buy up. But like mm -hmm. if to like draw like the trend line down like it was a break and retest right there and then it was like the negative 61a plus the zone so you drew it on minor structure yeah yeah that's fine but some people can't see it that in depth so i didn't want to i don't want to confuse nobody okay got that it. makes sense because those points are very fine um so yes good if you caught it but again everybody not um as uh like some people are still in their learning process but congratulations on catching this this position my love thanks sis you're welcome girl you're welcome who else caught you you yeah i caught the same bar okay good oh, what were your comments? i did but i was just doing a top down <laughs> okay thing, this um, line of structure break and retest okay good so you caught the same trend line that she's talking about? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, great. Okay, I love that. Um, okay, so traders, where are we now, beloveds? <laughs> Tell me where we are. Where do you see? What do you see? Negative 27. Okay. I see a pullback happening. All right. Um, back in the consolidation range. Okay. So we're on this zone right here. All right. Now, when you say pull back in that consolidation range, Malcolm, you're talking about the overall consolidation, but what you see from this point right here, based off of analysis. Yeah. Huh? The, the past consolidation, yeah. Yeah, but like where we are now, what do you see? Downtrend. The negative 27. Negative 27. 27. On the zone. I was saying, Continuation. Where we at? Yeah, I just, yeah, we're sitting on the zone. Really. Okay, so where you got price going? I see a minor buy because I see like divergence yeah, and then we need like a pullback, no? Okay. 
Okay. I think it's, it's going to pull it's back. It's an app structure. Well, I, I mean, I, I'm waiting on a pullback too, but I just wanted to know where y'all had y'all parts going. But yeah, yeah I need so, it's an ad structure. Put it back to 100. Higher time frame structures. Okay. It is for a pullback, huh? So yeah, so I want to make sure this area doesn't fully break, but because you, we had this, um, we had a big bullish candle right here. Now, also, um, remember, like last week, I told y'all that, um, um. GDP had news last week. This week, the U.S. is going to be having a lot of news, so be mindful of that. Jerome Powell, is speaking, I think, on ooh, mute. Jerome Powell speaking on Friday, so be mindful of that also. But yeah, so where we are right here, I do want to see a pullback. Um, I just want to make sure this where we are upholds. You see how he broke a little bit under. Now we have minor divergence right here. But it was very minor. Also, oh, I'm going to talk about this when we get to GJ. Because y'all know sometimes I talk about we have minor divergence and then we have major divergence. We had some a beautiful, okay, a beautiful sale on GJ from a major divergence. But um, does everybody understand the difference between major and minor in that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So where we are right here, I do want to see this, like, give a little you know, a little pull back here. And then at this point, y'all know I do not like looking too far ahead, especially because that is not how you trade. You do not want to like give your top down, but you don't want to look too far in the future. Also, let me drag that. Hold on. I need to drag this trend line out now. I'm going to drag this. Legend is crying. I don't know why. It's bothering me. It's pulling at my heartstrings. Um, all right. We're just going to put that there. But I want to see this. Now, remember this trend line is a higher time frame trend line. So we have a lot of points in which is touched. And we have a lot of possibility points. What I mean by that, not possibility points, but range. Because remember, on that point, we put it in the majority of price. I'll go to a different um, a different broker. Got a pepper song so you can see what I'm talking about. So I just can ask a question. So remember, hold on, let me finish this thought. Um. Remember when we draw trend lines, you want to draw on a majority of price. So we got two through here. We got the one coming from the top of this here, which is basically what we just, I don't know if that was here. Okay, so we have this point, this point, then this down here coming through here. And then we have this one coming through these points here. All right, I'm just showing y'all on this broker so that, because I know it's a lot on the other. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Um, whoever said they have a question, you can ask your question. I just didn't want to mess up yeah, my sorry. Point. Sorry about that. Um, I was fine? just gonna say your trend lines. Yeah, they all look like they're the same color. I was gonna say, how do you know which time frame each trend um you're looking at? Because they're pretty much the same structure. Say again. Those blue trend lines were the same structure. It's not. It's not okay. a different time frame. So if I go back to Pepper Zone, remember we're in consolidation on that whole main thing. Like we, this oh, yeah. isn't a different structure. Like it's not a different um, time frame that I'm looking at. Like this structure is the same structure that's there. It's just two different points that you can do your trend lines on. Okay. Thank Does you. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a question. Why? I mean, I still have those trend lines too, but why are those still valid? Because because it was so much price that was respected on them. You, mm -hmm. they're not invalidated because yeah. price price respected it so much time, so many times. Like, so what would you base like 
okay, say what, like you were, you're analyzing and stuff. What am I basing? Like, cause I'm just trying to figure out like, why am I keeping those trend lines on there? Because clearly like it broke through, retested, pulled up and then still shot back down. So am I like looking like, okay, it could touch the trend line again, possibly. And that could break it. Like, why would I keep those still on my chart? Because it's still, this price is still, all of this price is valid. The same reason you'll still keep these zones, even though price broke above this. Like, these are the main trend lines for this structure. We're not talking about minor structure that's through here of mm -hmm. all of these. That's no longer there. But this structure that's still here, price can still come back. Like, no different than here where it broke and retested this and came down. Or this past mm -hmm. week where it respected this trend line and bounced up. Mm, okay so it even would. though it had a higher point it it, st it wouldn't make it invalid no yeah. because the trend line is re remember trend lines even though it's a trend it's still every time price comes here this is looking at a level of resistance like price isn't going past this trend line point price isn't mm -hmm. going lower than this trend line point does that make sense so mm -hmm. you still want to use it until it's like if price let's say went in a completely different trend remember mind you we're still technically in this whole consolidated mm -hmm. area does that mm -hmm. make sense mm -hmm. now we could also draw a trend line here that would be valid that would basically right. be about the same thing like uh, mm -hmm. we'll put it like right there so we'll do all of the points here, huh? I got a daily trend line coming up that is breaking. I do too. I me too. I don't want to go on a daily on my main because it's gonna be way confusing for you guys. It's but right there. where's your daily coming from? Down here. Yeah. Mm. It's coming here. Yep. Yep. Same thing. Yeah, that's valid. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. It's so, valid, but with that, just remember that it's going to be like, don't expect price to just push away from that. No, nah, that's why I was expecting the consolidation again. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So does that does that make sense? What I'm saying about these for this structure that we're in, like, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then so um, until Jessica. Yes. Wait, zone, did somebody finished a question. Yeah, yeah I was about to say it? thank you. Back to that trend. So it's so you're saying that's good until the trend is over. Yeah, like let's say for instance, we were all the way over here, right? Like this is basically looking at like let's say the same type of structure, right? So let's just say we were looking at this and we drew a trend line through, let's say here, right? This is not like at the point where this is done with this, unless this kept rising, 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 oh, rising, okay. then mm. that like we don't use that anymore because we're no longer even near that. This, we still have price that's still coming through this. Now, this didn't invalidate. It's not like a trend line that price just slashed through and didn't respect at all. They still have very valid points throughout structure. So you can't invalidate them. Does that make sense? Yeah, that cleared that up because I always thought once price broke that, it was invalid after that. Yeah. No, the yeah. only time it's invalid is like if you have a minor, like this trend line right here, right? Let's use this blue and coming through here. This trend, this is no longer a trend. This broke now went to a downtrend, but we're yeah. not in this trend anymore. Because remember, we're consolidating. So this minor trend that's coming through here is done. So is it safe to say that if price is in an uptrend and you have major structure uptrend lines, that those trend lines are valid until the trend is changed? Same thing with consolidation. Like yeah, we're consolidating that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. All right, thank you. No problem. Now, the guy that was asking a question, what was your question? Yeah, um, that last zone right there, that, that broken retest. Do you see price going to TP 
to negative 61. Well, I don't look at this as a break and retest because we came here, but we never closed under Ooh. here. Yeah. We're still in this whole area, vicinity. It's not a break and retest until price breaks, closes, pushes away, and comes back. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It's just because my zone is probably a bit higher. Well, you, it again, is. with your zones, make sure you incorporate your majority of price. Because you see out here, this same zone, I have all of this through here. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I have, like, when, and when you look at a zone, it's not just a line. It's a region of price. You see this? Like, it's a region. Now... That was the first thing that I said was that I want to make sure that this does not break. So because we're, because we're, I'm expecting a pullback, but because we're sitting on this zone, the first thing, the first step is to make sure that this does not break before you're just hopping in. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's just because I was in a cell like from last week. Okay. Yeah, well, so from that pullback right there. At the top. Yeah, from and here. Then, yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Price. I'm happy you caught that. That was a beautiful setup. Um, this was basically price getting to that level of resistance. So after we had this and price coming to this zone, literally, when I say we're just back in this area of consolidation, same thing I said right before we ended the call last week. Mm -hmm. You see how every time we got to the top of this blue area, resistance, 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 all through here. And then we have our middle area, which is this purple, which was basically tested as support and resistance all throughout. So at this point where last week we were, we came to this purple, tested this area as support, retested the backside of this trend line. Again, we have this little negative 61.8 that just aligns, but some people caught this um, um, here, break and retest this goodbye. This right here, same thing, like the resistance area here, then ultimately the sale that you're talking about, um, remember again, we had GBP news last week. News is nothing to be scared of. It always just aligns with your technicals. So where we are right here, again, I want to make sure that this does not break. And then I just want to see this like push up here. Now, again, trade what you see, not what you think. So we need to wait on some confirmations, um, to back up basically everything that we're, we're basically looking at, but Question. that is literally my analysis for this. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. So um just from the guy that just said he caught um a cell from the fifty slash sixty one point eight all the way down, how would you know it wasn't it wasn't a reversal, like going back up? Um uh, that it was gonna continue going down. How would you know that? Diversion at the top. So this divergence that he's talking about is on a smaller time frame here. So you have divergence right here. Um, and then this would have been a test break retest of support and resistance of minor structure. So again, some of these entries that I kind of shy away from on YouTube calls just because some people aren't as experienced as others, but this could have been basically like your red box, blue box, green box. And this was an easy entry to confirm this divergence of this structure here. Now, again, this is minor structure divergence, but basically this is test break. This lower high is just a retest of that structure. If that makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. Um, I just had a, a question about uh, EJ. Um, I think you were trying to show, was it Nikki? Um, yeah, from last two weeks about the sell that eventually happened, but it went and retested higher before actually finally selling short, like that going way down. So I'm trying to figure out like where is the best entry so it doesn't hit stop loss then going down because I saw I saw divergence, I saw um, um, resistance, then uh, what else? T break and retest, but it kept going up. So. I don't know if you want to pull up EJ, but 
um, if you no, see that. I don't. For EJ, I'm gonna wait to the Monday call so we do the like y'all's question calls, just because I just want to do the analysis for this call. For like, I want that to be like a question call, if that makes sense. Not for YouTube. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you. Oh, but keep the question. Okay. Um, is y'all's call is literally a week and a day from now. Jessica for G yes. for G U. Um wait, just... wait. Somebody was asking a question before you before you. Who just said Jessica before Ashley just said before I did. Okay. What was your question? Um at the top where the other guy said it was a divergence, but you were saying that you wouldn't advise anyone or novice traders to take it at the top on a smaller time frame i don't see it could you show oh yeah so the divergence was here so basically this is going up here and this is going down here you see oh thank you no problem no problem. Okay, Ashley, what was your question? So with you right now, I see um, at the very bottom, like right in the blue zone, uh -huh. the, the trend, I see some divergence and I have a minor structure trend line kind of going along this, um, that structure down there. Uh huh. So for entry's sake, if we're following that trend line and we go and break above that zone and retest that zone i'll be looking for buys but so wait it... though because this is what i was about to get into with gj so this is very minor divergence mm -hmm. right like you have you can't count this over here as your divergence the only divergence that's right here is literally this that's right what i'm here. talking about right here i'm talking it about right here. A well yeah so this minor divergence is mm -hmm. a minor buy so you see how this minor correlated to this minor here, this okay. buy here. So it's like with 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 minor divergence, you have to be careful because you're not gonna get full out like just drops. Now on GU on this GU you went at the top, you did, um, but it was just a pullback for the continuation. With this, it's it's just a little risky right here, just mm -hmm. because have this bullish like you have this bullish uh um um you have this it's bullish awesome. candle, you have the zone you have the fib level so technically you have your confirmations of the pullback right but if you don't really like pay attention like this could easily drop down you just want to be sure so like if you are like one of the people that you like proficient on your charts I don't want to say novice and not novice, but if you're more advanced and you want to take advantage and like literally trade inside of your structure and pay attention until your entry is clear, then I'm perfectly okay with it. But I just be on these calls, like trying to just make sure, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you know, keep it high some, level. Yeah, well, yeah, but also, you know, it just be some people on YouTube that just get in trades immediately. So I just want to make sure like, people understand what they're looking for okay okay thank you though that was good information because i'm always concerned about the divergence and when the divergence shows and what move is representative of so that gave me some clarity on that thing so you. like like let me show you like a major divergence like a difference um so let's talk about let where we were last week and then i'm gonna go into that part so last week on gj remember i actually didn't give an analysis because i said it's two things giving us a buy and it's two things giving us a sale. So last week I was literally like, don't do nothing on GJ until you have confirmation. Cause where we were last week, we had the two things giving us a buy were we had, um, we had bullish momentum at the time. And then we had a break and retest of the zone. So those were two things literally telling us buy. But then we had two things telling us sell, which was this negative 61.8 and then this divergence right here. So remember I told y'all don't do nothing on GJ's, like literally just wait. So early part of the week, we literally just consolidated 
all through here. Now, remember I told you guys we had that GBP news literally shot up, okay? Um, I actually didn't even get in this because at first I wasn't even sure like until I saw this wick exhaustion, but it just still wasn't clear to me fully. And remember, I do not trade take trade. I'm not sure about at all. But then you had this wicked Austin that was clear today. But I took this sell right here from this. And that's what I want to talk about when I said the major versus minor divergence. So you guys see the difference between that smaller divergence and then. Bless you. Bless you. Thanks, guys. This is textbook when mm. i talk about textbook like mm. this is just them clear as day like mm, everybody maybe i should have just wrote it in a group um but this is one of them textbook like one plus one equals two and you should just get in because it's super clear as day but i needed to this was your retest here. Hey, Jess. Yes. And then I had my, where am I? Um, I hit them. I did a Zoom call earlier and hit my my levels because that was at a level right there too. Um. Yes, whoever said something? Yeah. Is there a reason that um the, the Japanese interest rate increased, but then... It's still went bearish. Like it goes against it. It goes against the currency, even though the interest rate was increased. Well, you gotta think that it was a. You gotta think that the the Japanese economy um purposely weakens their currency. Does that make sense? Because of trade balance. That's a whole like fundamental thing. Um, look that up though. Let that be your homework tonight to look that up. But I thought that was interesting too because they load it so they can sell the PlayStation at a certain price. You what you you watch that podcast I did? Oh yeah, actually yeah, I watch everything you do. <laughs> okay, I did That's a whole part on yeah. that, but yeah. So um, but. Remember, with currency, we're making money off of fluctuations. So technically, it goes both ways. But um, the yen purposely devalues their currency. Like, that's a whole thing. But so where we are right here. So I drew this trend line at the top. Um, and also, Xavier, since we own here. Remember when you were on the call last week and you were like, Gold is selling. And I was like, hell no. Oh, yeah. You, you need to. You remember this? Uh, I got to refresh my memory, actually. <laughs> you, does memory anybody shot. remember? Yeah, I remember. And I was like, and oh, that was my guy. And you was like, <laughs> why are you uh, I, 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 I you remember, and I was like, Xavier, please do Ooh. not move you like this because <laughs> this could easily just be. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. I remember somebody saying that. Yeah, that wasn't he, him. That was another guy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Time. I don't know well, why I, do I sounded like your voice. Yeah. I okay, remember. well, who was it? Reveal yourself, friend. Who was mm -hmm. it? Anybody? I think that's too much pressure. They're not going to reveal okay. themselves. Okay. <laughs> well, they, they might not be here too, though. So. Okay. Well, let's just let's just talk about it real quick. Cause then we were literally on the call, and he was like, "Oh my God, it's selling!" I was like, "No, like we're it's we're still like in the zone. Like it is not. It did not. It did not." Um. Now, soon and very soon. Now, this is still an uptrend structure, but at some point, I am expecting a pullback on gold just because it's been ascending so so much. But we had a lot of weak exhaustion and another bullish momentum. So um, from this past week now, because we have I'm on a daily right now, because we have all of this buying pressure, we know at some point this has to give us a pullback uh, like a significance. But remember, long term, I've been expecting gold to go up like we talked about this. Go back and watch that call where it has like those little levels um, and like the projections or whatever. But honestly, for all of this week. 
look for like even this this can I mean this is a off the spur little analysis but I was looking at this earlier come in here and then at this point look to see if we push back down to this zone right here um dang it how does that look like that let me draw that up anyways look for it to push up to that trend line and see after you have your confirmations price pushing back to that zone um because again we have we have no lows broken so we can't just be like oh this is about to sell right now right but based off of structure and market movement at some point we have to have some sort of pullback because all we've been doing right now like all we did even this past week from Sunday, we were literally on the zone, right? We literally came here, let's put that there, came here um, in this little triangle. Remember, we talked about triangles recently, but came here at this triangle, literally broke and retested out of here and pushed up strongly in this little buy move here. Then we had some divergence up here from this, like later as the week passed giving us this push down. This push down was basically the same. Actually, we could put like a little, I don't wanna be too premature on this little. Yeah, so like the, where I said like price could pull back, that literally will line up with like where this little um, negative 27 is for this area. But we still kind of consolidating a lot. Like gold is not my favorite at all. I would say more so GJ and GU. GU more so than anything. But GJ right here, it looks like it's setting up for a good opportunity. Um, hold on, let me scoot y'all faces over. I be trying to keep y'all faces up so I can like read y'all names when y'all have questions. But then when I'm like marking up, they be in the way. So I gotta keep moving stuff on my screen. Okay, so again, we had these coming from the top right here. Now, we broke out of an area and made a higher high, right? Shot right back down. So it's not like we made a higher high to, like we, it's not like we made a higher high to continue making higher highs. We literally pushed up out of this area and then shot straight back right here. I'm expecting this to pull back just like I'm expecting GU to pull back, ultimately. Um, so look for this to pull back before we have a sale of anything. All right. But also just be mindful that this shot down very aggressively. So you see how with when it shot up very aggressively, we had indication and confirmation that, okay, now this is about to sell. This shot down very aggressively. And other than this minor divergence that's here, like this was clear as day. This is major divergence. Then we had a strong break and recess. This is minor divergence. Do y'all see the difference between this di divergence and this one? Yeah. yeah. This is minor divergence right here. We don't have any break and recess of anything. The only thing we have is this trend line we're testing the back side of this but remember let's go to a higher time frame so you can see what i'm talking about this is our structure so we had all of this consolidation that we broke out does that make sense and we're right back, like basically at this. Let me draw a zone at the top so you can see what I'm talking about. Yes, I have about. a question once you went you. Okay, what's your question? When you're saying minor, um, is that because it has a shorter runway as compared to the other one, had a longer runway in yeah, terms of that uh, divergence? Yes, yeah, so it's the structure. No different than like your trend lines and no different than your um no different than your trend lines, no different than your everything. Like you draw your trend lines on higher time frames, so forth and so on. Like this 
Do you see how these this divergence? Let's look at these minor divergences over here. You see how this minor divergence wouldn't be drawn on this one hour, but this is clear right. day on a one hour. This is a major structure divergence. Gotcha. Whereas this isn't. You see that? Yes, very clearly now. Thank you. This is more of a minor structure. We drew it on minor structure. So just be mindful of this. Actually, you guys can set an alert at the top of this. Um, but the only thing that I don't like about this, I'm expecting a pullback, but the only thing that I don't like is that there is not really any fib structure that gives us a pullback here. Do you see what I'm saying? So you want to make sure we actually have a pullback and that it's not a continuation. Yes. Does that make sense, y'all? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to take one more question and then I got to end class because my babysitter can only stay till nine o'clock tonight. And she really didn't know that my class was really up at 9 30. So I'm kind of jigging her right now on accident. <laughs> She's on the accident, but she upstairs. I know she's like, I know this girl told me not nine o'clock. So I gotta go. But what's your question? Somebody just had a question. I was gonna ask where where where, where what zone or what area would the, the pullback? What pull area to? am I how far am I looking for a pullback to go? Yeah. Um we could say this area here where we had previous resistance. Mm -hmm. But look for it to go here first. You see here? You see that? Yeah. But that's first. And then like, look, like some of this stuff, like if it's not clear as day like this one up here, some of it, you got to take it step by step. Does that make sense? This would be the first place. And then the next place would be, let's say, 1.9, no, 191.84 is the second area. But my first area would be the level of resistance that was previously there. So about one, 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 why are my tongues high? 191.181, that'd be first. So like a good like 86 dips. Okay, so look, so I love y'all. I'm gonna see y'all next week. And um, oh, next Easter. oh, it is Easter. Happy Palm Sunday, guys. Did y'all give up something for Lent? Y'all gave us something for Lent? Yep. Nope. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Who didn't give us something for Lent? I'm sorry, it's me. <laughs> okay. Don't what? talk about it, Jess, please. No, I'm not going to talk about you. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> this is what I did learn a long time ago. That Jesus ain't going to sacrifice if you don't sacrifice for him. That's all I'm going to say. Now, this is the other thing. It's not too late. Like, you don't have to do just Lent. Like, we can make constant sacrifices. And it don't even have to be just giving up something. You can give up. Like, it isn't because when I was little, my mom used to be like, okay, you can't eat sugar until Easter. Or, like, everybody in the family give up soda or meat or something. Like, you can also do, like, a discipline. Like, oh, I'm going to read every day for the next 40 days. That I agree with. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't just have to be something like that. It could just be incorporating a discipline into your life. So if you if you, if you you did not, then you can do it on your own for just 40 days and call it a day. You are. It's so more than 40. Funny. It's more than just 40 days. Just not the excuses. Yeah, it's more than 40 days. But, you know. Just what made you no turn excuses. vegetarian? What you say? What made you turn vegetarian? Who vegetarian? Oh, you don't really, you don't really Hell no. Well, no. The reason why I asked that is because when you came to London and I came to, um, I was at the What's wrong with vegetarians? Oh, um, you were, you were, you, I met you in London? Yeah. 
Oh, hey, I wasn't eating meat. Say again? Oh, I think I just thought the meat tastes different there. Yeah, no, because you, you ordered that like, uh, vegetarian burger. So I was like, oh, you're vegetarian. Did I? Yeah. This Well, is let me tell you, when I, oh, hey, hey, How nice, you doing? oh, do you have, oh, I remember that picture, actually. Yeah. Hi, Hi. nice to see you. Nice to hear you too. I was going to ask you a question as well. Do you still speak to anyone from the London um, thing? Because I remember Chris was one of your um, main men. I don't know, main, I don't know what you call them, but like one of them Do people. y'all still have a group chat? Yeah. Do you? I don't know Do who's you keep still. it? Yeah, it's in the, I, I still, I'm still on it. Oh, can you put a message right now so I can check in and say hey? Yeah. Okay. Jess, legend might be by himself. I know. Let me go upstairs. Okay, I love y'all. I'm gonna see y'all on 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 next week. Okay. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Jess. I love.